Okay, today we are going to learn uh, uh, how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. Okay, I'm going to underline this uh, term. Okay, now this is a very important term for you to use. Okay, what do you mean by algebraic fractions? Now, you all know what's a fraction, right? Uh, fraction involves a numerator divided by denominator. Okay, for instance, uh, you have seen, for instance, this is a fraction one quarter. Okay. So whenever we talk about algebraic fractions, right, either one or both of this numerator and or denominator, right, is expressed as a unknown value. Okay, for instance, x. So when we talk about algebraic fractions, right, maybe I give you some examples. For instance, uh, x over 4. Now this is a fraction. At the same time, the numerator is a unknown. Okay. So x over 4 is what we call an algebraic fraction. Now another example could be let's say uh, x plus 2 over 3 for instance. It's another example of algebraic fractions. Um, as I mentioned that we can also have the denominator. For instance, uh, 2 over x is also an algebraic fraction. Now, please take note that for this lesson, right? We are going to add and subtract algebraic fractions. Okay, before we do that, right, uh, we need to actually revisit, right, or what we call the prerequisite is actually how do we add and subtract fractions, especially when the fractions have a different denominator. This is that ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight man. Okay, for instance, we are uh, we look at the prerequisite. Now, these two are examples of uh, uh, addition and subtraction of fractions. Now, this is two parts of five. Okay, uh, add with one part of five. Okay, so when we add these fractions together, right? Now, uh, we actually have the answer three over five. Now, if you were to think back, right? How come we have to add the numerator, right? Why the denominator still remains at 5? Because this is actually, uh, if I have to give you an uh, understanding, right? Okay, if I have to break up into 5 parts. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These have to be equal parts. Huh? Okay, uh, 1 fifth plus 2 fifth, right? This is 1 fifth. Okay, and this is 2 fifth. So if you add, right, uh, how many parts actually are shaded? Okay, it's actually three parts out of five. That's why the denominator still limits at five. However, if you were to uh, subtract, right, for instance, three over seven minus two over seven, okay, same idea, we are left with one over seven. Now, what happens if we have something like um, half? Maybe we take about uh, half, right, minus one third. Now here the denominator uh, of unequal values, one is a half and the other one is one third. Now when you want to subtract these two uh, fractions, right, uh, we need to have the idea of the LCM. Now LCM actually means the lowest common multiple. Okay. Now the lowest common multiple means that for 2 and 3, right, uh, what we do is that normally we do is that this is, uh, the LCM must be 6. Okay, now how to get 6? Huh? Because uh, one easy way to actually do is to, if these are what we call uh, prime numbers, right? We multiply them. Okay, um, now, after that we ask ourselves, right? Uh, what is the equivalent fraction? Huh? If we have something like this, what is this value? Okay, now this is what we call uh, equivalent fractions. This is 1 over 2. And we have learned that this should be 3 out of 6. Okay, so we write here 3 and uh, 1 third is actually uh, if you make the denominator upon 6, right? Here will be the value of 2. These two are what we call equivalent fractions, so we put it here. Now, once we get to this step, right, we notice that it's very similar to the previous uh, question. 
so we simply do and then we take the difference of 3 and 2 we got 1 so half minus 1 third is 1 out of 6 ok now these are form the very basic of our what we call the prerequisite for us to go on further to meet our objective of today's lesson to add and subtract algebraic fractions now, here are three examples, right, where we add and subtract, okay? Uh, let me just uh, clarify, we're not only adding a fraction, eh? we are adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Okay, let's make it uh, more accurate. Now, these two examples involve fractions, at the same time the fractions are the numerator, right, it is the, the expression for A. Okay, so these two are what we call uh, algebraic fractions. And how do we add them? Now remember that with, with the denominator is 7 and 7, right? Uh, as you see from the prerequisite, right? Uh, we just add the numerator. And this is how we illustrate just now. Okay, so for the first question, right? So it's simply, uh, we have learned that if we were to add 4a e and a, we are going to get 5. 5a. E. So this is the answer for the first. Okay. Um, for the second one, we are taking the first expression here, a different fraction as 3y over 5 minus 2y over 5. Uh, we use the same idea since the numerator are equal. So, so 3y minus 2y. We left with 1y. And in algebra, we don't write 1y. We just simply write y. So the answer is y over 5. Okay? Now for the part 3, right? We notice that the denominator of unequal values, 4 and 12. Now, what is the, what we call the LCM of 4 and 12? Okay? Now, uh, we usually look at the, uh, the idea of LCM is that when we were to make into equivalent fractions, right? Uh, both of them can be expressed as the same denominator. And this denominator must be as small as possible. Okay? Now, let's say we take a value of uh, 24. Let me just get 24. Can we express this fraction and this fraction into a uh, denominator of 24? We can, actually, right? But is this the smallest? Okay, but uh, we can't take anything below 12. So a good way to check is uh, you just multiply by, by 3 or by 2. 4 times 2, 8. So it's still less than. Let me try, right? 4 times 3, 12. Yes. I can express this as a denominator of 12. So if I were to do this, right? Now the advantage of doing with uh, RCM, right? Okay, sometimes we don't have to express both into another number. Okay, so if you were to look, right, uh, this is 4 over C over 4. You can express this as, now let me just rewrite us. Uh, yeah, C over 4 equals to 12. If you know it's 12. Now, what will be the equivalent fraction? Uh? So the numerator here, what's the numerator here? Such that these two are equivalent fractions. Uh, we notice that. Here we multiply by 3, right? So, so here we got to multiply by 3. And when you product C and 3, right? C times 3, right? We write it as 3C. Correct? Okay? Now, we write 3C, not C3. Eh? We follow the order of number followed by a value of the unknown. Okay? So, this is uh, 3C. So, we put here. Now, now we are... Maybe I want now this goes back to the previous example number one. Uh, so we have the same denominator. Now 3c plus 5c we will get 8c. Okay. Now let me just share something about the final value that we get here. This 8c over 12. Now in uh, when we express a value, right, we don't um, uh, write 8c over 12. Okay, we write, we express this as what we call the simplest form. If you are given 8 over 12, 
Vaseline plus 4 will be 2 third, 2 over 3. You divide by 4, divide by 4. Okay? So in the same manner, right? 8C divided by 4, you're going to get 2C. And 12 divided by 4, you're going to get 3. So this is our final answer. Okay? Now, uh, we are going into level 2 type of questions. Uh, these are, again, what we call addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions. But the numerator involves A plus 1. Okay? Now, how do we actually simplify? Now, again, right, if you notice that the denominator is over 3, so uh, what we can do is that uh, since it's over 3, right, in the same denominator, this we is can, the uh, I'm going to use a black pen. Oh, sorry. The plus, right? Now this plus belongs to the question. Okay, I'm going to introduce that we got to write a bracket here. Okay. Now what do we get? Now if you open the bracket, right? Uh, we're going to get a plus one over three. So we're going to get a plus a, right? It will be two a plus one over three. Now for the second question, right? Uh, we notice that the denominator is unequal. And to express the same denominator, we are going to change into equivalent fraction of having a 6 here. Now, if we do that, okay, now, uh, 3 times 2, right, becomes 6, right? So here will be a minus 2 times 2, so it will be 2 times of a minus 2. Now, if you check, right, we do cancellation, right, this is 1 and 3. You will revert back to your original fraction. Okay? Now, in this, also now we have to divide by 6. Please take note that we just, I just writing down what I see here. This is minus belongs to the, remember belongs to the question. Okay? Now, after that, uh, minus a. Now, if you open the bracket, this is 2a. Please take note that huh? this is uh, minus 4. And then minus a. Okay. Now, what shall we get? Huh? Maybe a uh, right here. Now, two a minus a is a. Uh, these two are what we call like terms, huh? And then a minus four over. Okay. Now, for, for this question, right? This fraction here, we have to convert to the equivalent fraction of. This is to a plus a, this is going to be a, right? So 2 times of uh, a plus 3. Okay, so it's going to merge. You're going to get 2a plus 1 plus, sorry, plus 2 times of a plus 3. Now, so if you were to open up the bracket, you're going to get 2a plus 6. It. And finally, if you were to simplify the like term, we learn like terms, right? Uh, simplification of like terms. 2a and 2a are like terms, and we add them up, we're going to divide 4a. Uh, 1 plus 6 is 7. So this is the final answer that we get. Okay? Now we can reduce this further. This is in the simplest form. Now, let's see, right? Uh, I'll give you a uh, slightly more challenging question. Okay, I'm going to erase the, if the question was 2a plus 1 over 8 and this is a minus. Okay? Now minus a I have the same and this one also is a minus. I want you to make uh, the comparison uh, between these two questions. Okay. In this question, right, again, the first term we leave it. We don't change anything. Okay. But however, the second term, right, is going to be 2 times of a minus 3 over a. Okay. 
Please take note, eh? the minus sign is here. Okay, I, 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 I don't change that. Okay. Now, once we merge these two terms together, now, uh, we're going to follow the same idea. Okay. But now, there's a minus here. Okay. Two times of A straight. Now, once we open up the bracket, I need you to be very careful. Eh? This is going to be minus 2 times A. Eh? So we're going to get minus uh, 2A. Minus 2A product with uh, negative 3, right? We're going to have plus 6. Okay. Now, if we sort to simplify the denominator, right? Uh, the like term is 2A and negative 2A. And this is what we call a uh, zero pair, right? There won't be any A left. So we don't have to write anything A. But 1 plus 6 will give you 7 or 8. Okay? And if you were to compare the answer, right? This is a fraction. It is not algebraic fraction. Okay? And why is this a fraction not algebraic fraction? It's because the 2A and negative 2A are eliminated. Okay? So it can happen. Now, you make a comparison, make a visual check of these two. See how does it differ when introduce a, either a minus operator or a negative value.